All right, we're going to go back now to that investigation into NASA spending your tax dollars to fly first class. The Scripps National Investigative Correspondent Mark Greenblatt found federal agencies skirting the rules and allowing employees to upgrade time and time again, all on your dime. Your tax dollars pay for their travel, but when federal employees take to the skies, they're required to fly coach, except in rare instances. But NASA can't explain why top administrator Charles Bolden upgraded to first class and flew from D.C. to L.A. to speak to middle school students at a cost of $1,600. The reported coach fare, just $169. Scripps News uncovered 515 other upgrades NASA reported, costing taxpayers anywhere from $3,000 to more than $10,000 per flight. Like when NASA reported Bolden and another top exec, Michael O'Brien, each upgraded to business class to fly from Beijing to Washington, paying more than $16,000 each. Combined, it's enough for 34 separate tickets at the going coach fair. Sounds like an unnecessary expense. The government's paying for it. Again and again. I, I think it's inappropriate. It's ridiculous. At NASA, no one seems to be minding the store. In 2012, it neglected to disclose an entire year's worth of upgrades. No one noticed. Not even Chief Financial Officer Beth Robinson, who got the job after telling Congress. It's, it's very important to any organization, much less a government organization like NASA, to have confidence in its financial transactions to gain support from the public. But now Robinson admits widespread errors throughout the disclosures NASA did make. Like in the case of Director Simon Warden, NASA reported a first-class upgrade for 14 grand. NASA now says the flight never happened. He says it did. But we found lax oversight of upgraded travel across the government, with dozens of agencies not filing required disclosures and facing no repercussion. Records we obtained from the General Services Administration show since 2009, 54 out of 75 agencies failed to disclose at least an entire year's worth of upgrades or more. Some agencies, like the Small Business Administration, haven't filed for five years in a row. That's not going to give the taxpayers the information they need. Tom Schatz is with Citizens Against Government Waste and says taxpayers deserve more. Congress should be telling the agencies, you don't report, we're cutting your budget. One reason, the last time premium travel was seriously checked, back in 07, when the Government Accountability Office estimated 67 percent of all government upgrades were improper. Which brings us back to questions we raised with NASA, where CFO Beth Robinson declined to meet face-to-face. -face. So we caught up with her by phone. You're not reporting what it is that the travel regulation is asking you to report. I have been CFO here since 2009. I only recently became responsible for this report. It was done elsewhere at NASA and it came to us because of all the people who were doing it retired. But while she points the finger at others, the GSA points back, saying ultimately each federal agency is responsible for what they submit. The Government Accountability Office tells us all those missed reports create oversight problems and is now launching a new government-wide audit. And at least eight agencies say they'll take care of their missed reports soon. Mark Greenblatt for the Scripps Washington Bureau at Reagan National Airport. The government does say that premium travel has declined, but with so many agencies not reporting, no one really knows.